The Ankle Brachial Index, or ABI, is the best known and standardized test for diagnosing PAD. Fundamentally, it is a comparison of the ankle systolic pressure to the arm systolic pressure. Simple ABI systems assist in performing this test quickly and accurately, following the clinical and CPT recommendations for the ABI exam. These recommendations include obtaining the systolic pressures using a Doppler at both the PT and DP arteries at the ankle and including a pulse volume recording or PVR waveform at the ankles. Have the patient lie down in the supine position, relaxed with their head and heels supported in a comfortably warm room. Wrap appropriate sized cuffs, usually 12 cm on the arms and 10 cm on the ankles, as explained in the section on cuff wrapping. Attach the color-coded hoses. On the computer desktop screen, select the simple ABI icon. When the screen opens, click on the File tab, then New, and select ABI Report. Take the relevant patient history, including patient information, risk factors, current symptoms, ICD codes, etc. Let's take a moment to learn the operation of the CuffLink remote. Next and back are used to move between sites. Pressing and holding Inflate inflates the cuff. Upon release, the cuff will deflate at a controlled 2 mm per second. Pressure is used to capture the pressure at which blood flow returns. The button with the waveform graphic captures a PVR waveform. It will inflate the cuff to roughly 80 mm and then reduce pressures to 65 mm. This is done to remove wrinkles from the cuff. It then captures 5 seconds of PVR waveform data. Finally, dump is a safety button that overrides other operations. Use the computer cursors and click on the right brachial field. Place the Doppler probe at a 45 degree angle to the skin over the radial artery. Move the probe slowly back and forth until the strongest arterial signal is heard. While listening to the arterial blood flow, press and hold inflate on the cufflink remote and inflate the cuff until you no longer hear the signal and continue for an additional 20 millimeters. Release the inflate button and the cuff will automatically start to slowly deflate. When you hear the Doppler signal return, press the pressure button and the pressure will be entered in the right brachial field. If you want to repeat the pressure measurement, simply repeat the process and the new pressure will replace the previous one. When satisfied, press Next on the remote and the system will move to the dorsalis pedis or DP. Please note, pressing Dump or Next will dump the pressure in the current cuff. Take an ankle pressure using the Doppler probe on the DP artery on top of the foot. Inflate the cuff to occlude the artery in the same manner you did on the arm. Find a good Doppler signal, press and hold inflate when blood flow returns, press pressure. Press next to move to the posterior tibial PT field. Place the Doppler probe on the PT artery behind the inside ankle bone. Obtain the pressure by the same method used on other sites. Find good blood flow using the Doppler. Press and hold inflate until occlusion. Press pressure when the sound returns. Press dump to dump the pressure in the cuff and prepare to take a PVR waveform. To obtain a PVR waveform at the ankle cuff, press the button with the waveform image on it on the remote. The cuff will inflate to the proper pressure and hold that while the waveform is obtained. Five seconds of waveform data is captured after the cuff pressure stabilizes at 65 millimeters. The patient should remain still during the measurement. You can repeat the measurement by just pressing the waveform button again. When satisfied, press Next to move to the next site. Repeat the sequence you just completed on the right side of the patient for their left side. Find a good Doppler signal at the left radial or brachial artery. Press and hold inflate on the cufflink remote until you no longer hear the Doppler signal and continue for an additional 20 millimeters. Release the inflate button and the cuff will automatically start to slowly deflate. When you hear the Doppler signal return, press the pressure button and it will be in the left brachial field. Press next to move to the left DP field. At the left DP, Find a good Doppler signal. 
Press and hold inflate until blood flow is occluded. Release the inflate button to begin deflation and press pressure when blood flow returns. The left DP pressure will be entered in the left DP field. Press next to move to the left PT field. At the left PT, find a good Doppler signal. Press and hold inflate until blood flow is occluded plus 20 millimeters. Release the inflate button to begin deflation and press pressure when blood flow returns. The left PT pressure will be entered in the left PT field. Press dump to release the pressure in the cuff and prepare to take a PVR waveform. Obtain a PVR waveform at this ankle cuff by pressing the button with the waveform image on it on the remote. The cuff will inflate to the proper pressure and hold that while the waveform is obtained. Pressing dump or next will release the pressure in the cuff. When finished, you may add or select impressions in the impression fields. Save or print the report by going back to the File tab. That's all there is to the ABI exam with your simple ABI cufflink. Like any procedure, the ABI becomes easier to do with practice.